In these problems, we are calculating the areas of parallelograms. And a parallelogram is uh, a creature like this. It's a four-sided shape, and it's got two sets of parallel sides that are the same length. So the top and the bottom, they're parallel to each other, and they're the same length. You can see here, 58 and 58. And the uh, sides here, the left and right sides, are parallel to each other and also the same length, in this case, 51. It's sort of like a rectangle that's been a little slanted or squished. Actually, a rectangle is a type of parallelogram. It's a special parallelogram that has all the angles 90 degrees. Um, if this was a rectangle, figuring out the area would be pretty easy. We'd just multiply the length times the width. When you've got this slanted, squished kind of creature, you can't really do that. So the formula here is actually the base, which in a rectangle we would usually call the length, times the height. And the height here is not this side, it's actually a line dropped from the corner and making a 90 degree angle with the opposite side. So you'll see that dashed line drawn in here, that's the height of the parallelogram. But once you've got the base and the height, you're good to go. You simply multiply those two. So this one is 58 times 44, and if you punch that in your calculator, you should get 2,552 now, they told us the dimensions were in inches here, but this is area, so remember this is going to be square inches uh, when we get the answer for area. All right, let's look at another one. This one says, find the area of the parallelogram, dimensions are in centimeters, and the area equals the base times the height. And down here, I don't see a measurement for the base, but... I know it's the same as the top because the top, are par top and bottom are parallel and the same length. So this is 90. So our base is 90. And our height is this dashed line dropped here from the corner down to the opposite side at a right angle. And that's 71. So 90 times 71. And that should be 6,390. And this was centimeters. So that'll be square centimeters when we get area. All right, let's try one more. This one says find the area of the parallelogram, dimensions are in centimeters, and this one looks a little bit different. We've got our base here, it's 20. So the area equals 20 times the height, and then we've got a dashed line here, but it's way out outside the parallelogram, and there's another dashed line here. Well, don't get confused by that. This dashed line right here with the 26 on it is a height of this parallelogram, and if you want to convince yourself of that, you could move this thing over and it would fit exactly in there. So those two lines are really the same. So this is going to be the base, which is 20, times the height, which is 26. And I think you get 520 when you calculate that. And this is centimeters, so centimeters squared. So that's how to find the area of a parallelogram. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can find us on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.